Good morning everyone. I thought I'd vlog today. I haven't vlogged for ages. Um, I'm out here in the workshop. I'm surrounded by beautiful lilies because it is my sister's, well she's having a wedding celebration party on Saturday and I am doing the flowers. So I'm doing um, vases and bouquets and so on and she wants lilies and she wants them out so I bought them several days um, in advance and as you can see um, I am looking after them as best I can. I've been out here taking out all the stamens, sorting out all the leaves, trimming them and so on and getting them all ready and hopefully happy um, for the wedding. So in a moment we're going to be going out to one of my most favourite places in the world, um, Sidmouth in Devon, and then um, I do want to come home and get some jobs done in the garden, so I thought that I would take you along. I am a big fan of having nice, calm, memorable time when I'm not working, um, so that's what it's going to be today in the vlog. I just want to go out and have a lovely time and chill out because I've been quite busy recently and um, yeah and take you along and show you some of the beautiful places um, that I love. My grandparents lived in Sidmouth for many years and we used to come and stay here every summer. I have such fond memories of my childhood summer holidays here. Love the beautiful town and it was all decorated for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The shops were just beautiful, covered in lots of bunting. It was just such a beautiful day as well to enjoy it. Whenever I come here I have to go to the church as my grandparents ashes are interred here and me and my sisters were christened here. I just love to quietly sit and light a candle and just think, um, just think about how grateful I am. When we were little, my mum would bring us all down to the beach. So there were four of us sisters, so it must have been such hard work for her. I do remember that the sea used to go out really far and there was loads of sand. 
and we used to have such a lovely time playing and swimming in the sea. I decided not to plant vegetables this year as I haven't really had the time to make any boxes and I just decided to plant flowers instead. I've planted some verbena, I've got a bit of salvia in there, some lobelia and I think the other one is agaratum but they're all pretty and hopefully they will become a bit more established and I'll have some flowers soon. So my peony is nearly finished, which is a shame because it's so beautiful. The salvia has flowered, which I'm kind of surprised about because I didn't cut it back this year. The clematis has come out and it's so beautiful. I've got this really dark sort of burgundy coloured clematis and then I've got that next to the clematis montana, which is so beautiful and is slowly growing up the fence. I've actually been growing some plants that I've kind of let things grow a bit this year so I've had a lot more alliums come up and I'm just letting them do their thing and see what happens. I've also been a bit more kind of freeform I suppose with the roses and just let them do their thing and again they are so beautiful, they smell amazing and look really nice next to the purple clematis. It was such a beautiful day and it was a gorgeous evening and I had to just quickly show you that there were bats flying around the garden. I couldn't believe it. I think you can just see them in the footage. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here then don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!